All right, so right after the success of Chandrayaan 3, India is now all set to, for the next big mission that is going to happen tomorrow. The rehearsals that have been completed for the launch of Aditya L1, India's first mission to study the sun. The launch will now happen tomorrow from Sri Harikota. As the Aditya L1 will carry seven payloads to observe the different layers of the outer sun for a deeper understanding of the ball of fire, with a primary payload on board the spacecraft, which is VECL, that has been designed and built and studied by the team of the Indian Institute of Astrophysics in Bengaluru Times now also had a word with them exclusively to understand what this mission is all about with me is the principal investigator who's of course been the brain behind this particular payload he and we should more importantly here understand that this particular payload was created in Bengaluru at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Joining me is Mr. P. Ramesh, sir. Thank you so much for speaking to us quickly. If you could tell us, sir, when did this collaboration with ISRO and the Indian Institute of Astrophysics really come about? See, before I start this interview, I must admit that there have been principal investigators before me, and yeah. presently I'm the principal investigator, and this is a team effort, so the credit goes to the entire team who are behind this mission. Yeah. And coming to the specifics, Indian Institute of Astrophysics have got almost more than 100 years of experience in carrying out observations of the solar atmosphere, particularly during the color, coronal, solar coronal eclipses. And based on the data that was collected over several decades, it was felt that one need to study the corona on a 24 by 7 basis outside of the eclipses also. And the only place from which such observations are possible is not from the ground, but from some specific vantage points in the space. Okay. And so you need to collaborate with the space agents to carry out these observations. And uh, in mid-2012, uh, uh, 2013 and all, there was this announcement of opportunity from ISRO to carry out solar observations from the space using their space missions. And IEA submitted a proposal, and they, they had designed this uh, VELC, which is the Visible Emission Line Coronograph, which is meant for studying the solar corona, as the name itself says. And today we are in a stage where uh, this coming Saturday, this whole uh, space mission is going to be launched. So we have the VELC that you're talking about. This is the payload that's going to be on board, uh, you know, uh, the spacecraft. If you could take us through the importance of this uh, in relation to the Earth, because many would assume, well, we're studying the sun, this seems too theoretical. Is this going to be of any sort of relevance to the people here on Earth at this juncture? Take us through that detail, sir. See, whenever there is a solar quake, which we call as a coronal mass ejection or the CME, that is a coronal material is thrown out into the interplanetary space. Now, when I say the coronal material is thrown out into the interplanetary space, the mass of this expelled material can be as high as 10 power 15 grams. Okay. And they can race towards the Earth in particular or any other direction in the space. So, there is a situation when these eruptions taking place on the solar atmosphere and if they are directed towards the Earth, the life on the Earth can be affected. Motives behind this mission is to study these things which can happen any time during a day. Yeah. So we need a 24 hours continuous observations of the sun. Now among the seven payloads that's on board the Aditya L1 mission, one is the VELC. This is the model of the VELC that's right in front of me. As uh, ISRO of course gets set to launch this into other space, we are here with the scientists at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics who've been instrumental in ensuring that uh, this a particular payload is on board and more importantly ensuring that the experiments that ISRO wants to conduct can be successfully done using uh, you know all the science behind this particular payload. With me is the team that's uh, built this payload from scratch here at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. I was basically a designer of this uh, uh, instrument, mechanical systems especially and uh, this uh, we have uh, the, this VELC is a visible emission line solar corona graph so this is the full uh, uh, name for this instrument solar uh, light which is entering through this aperture which will get deployed in the outer space so light enters through this thing and uh, and uh, there is a lens which blocks the disk light and allows only the coronal light into the system and the coronal light is imaged in an imaging channel and then uh, later it is uh, uh, splitted into three different uh, channels for spectroscopic analysis and other things so at, any, at the entry point itself, if the alignment is not accurate or if the alignment gets disturbed during onload, uh, that is lift off or uh, orbiting thermal loads or anything like that, where the injection of the light at that point itself, uh, the le light leaks 
into the system, it falls on the detector, then the whole mission is lost. Nothing. We will get only blind spot. The, uh, it will kill the detector and whole mission is lost. The alignment and accuracy is so critical and important. Yes. If you could tell us what has your role been and how crucial has it been yeah, in this particular... Yeah, yeah, we are very happy and I am glad, glad to be part of this uh, wonderful team. And I am Kathiravan, so I am taking care of this, I am the lead for the contamination control, process control and for the facility developments. Here actually this Aditya VLC has uh, posed uh, many challenges during the initial pages uh, because it has a strict or stringent cleanness requirements. So we have to devise a methodology with a careful planning to take care of both particulate and molecular contamination so that we can keep within the budget. So here this particulate and molecular contamination which is, which is depositing on the super polished primary mirror which Navbushan talked about. So any deposition, any layer of deposition on the primary mirror can completely mask the uh, coronal light which is our field of interest. Any scattering from the primary mirror can completely kill the our field of interest. That's why we have given a lot of uh, importance and a lot of methodology has been involved right from the design phase and the methodology has been devised to, to take care of the contamination at each and every steps okay, to meet the ambitious requirement of Aditya. So tell us your role uh, in, the, in this entire payload uh, construction process and also insertion into the satellite itself. Uh, thank you. My name is Amit Kumar. I am uh, head of the Department of Electronics. So my role was given to build the detector system from the scratch and it was quite challenging because when the detector was realized, hardware came in hand, Corona also was in front of us. So in that uh, time also uh, in our lab through the video conferencing and through the lot of people are working with the restricted environment, we could able to do the test and calibration of the detector system. And my, my, my job also did not stop there. I, it was beyond that that I had to do the mission operations, how it has to operate on board. And the data pipeline, data reduction also, that was my part of the system. That is because things are growing that way. Yeah. The detector system is capable of giving actually two terabits per day. In the meantime, let's uh, break that story after a very successful landing on Chandrayaan-3 on the moon. India is now gearing up for the sub mission Aditya L1. With the Indian Space Research Organization Chief S. Somnath has said that ISRO team, which has now completed the rehearsals for the launch, as he said, they are just getting ready for the launch and the rocket and the satellite are ready and they have already completed the rehearsal for the launch. So we are get, just getting ready for the launch. The rocket and satellite is ready. The, we completed the rehearsal for the launch. So tomorrow we have to start the countdown for day after tomorrow launch. How was it? Any update, sir? Uh, update is this is update. So after launch, we'll see further. So Chandra 3 is uh, successfully launched and uh, you know, world, world, world. Chandra 3 updates are we are regularly posting in our website and other social media. So you are getting to know most of that. So there is nothing more I need to add now. Everything is working fine. So we are waiting for the day to end now until almost science uh, data is coming through very well. Everything is working very healthy and we are hopeful that uh, uh, by the end of the 14 days we, our mission will be successfully completed. Well, little more than 24 hours left. We will be standing by for the non-stop coverage right here on Times Now as Aditya L1 will be the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun. With that, we head into a short break.